Well, it's one of the most recognizable tunes to come out of the 1960s, and after nearly 50 years, it is still played by people across the world. Today we sat down with one of the original members of the Surfaris, and one of the creators of the one of the famous songs ever made, Wipeout. Bob Berryhill and the Safaris knew there was something special about this song. Well, Wipeout was written in about 10 minutes. But they never imagined it would be one of the most popular tunes of their generation. The bass player kind of had a feel for this. And, and we switched that into the lead. Berryhill says the song was written because the group needed a second tune for their 45. Wipeout sent the safaris for the California surf scene to international fame. And by the third time, he says, okay, boys, that's good. We got it. That was all there was to it. And it was just a spontaneous creation of three 15-year-olds and our drummer, who was an old guy, he was 17. That was in January 1963. By April, it was number one in Los Angeles. And by July, Wipeout shot to number one across the world. And it was number one in Germany for that year, number one in Australia, number one in Japan. So it was, went all over the world, just lightning. So by the time we were 16 years old, we had a number one record all over the world. Today, it is one of the most popular songs played on the ukulele. This is Hawaii's own Jake and Bruce Shimabukuro shredding it at a local bar. It's been on 746 albums now, documented on BMI. The 63-year-old Barry Hill says, the song allowed he and his high school buddies to travel the world, touring with such acts like the Beach Boys and Roy Orbison. Billboard recently came out with the 30 most popular summer songs of all time. Wipeout was number two behind Summer of the City by Love and Spoonful. Well, it's one of those situations where you learn to enjoy the, uh, the greatness of something. Uh, at 15 years old, it's like I tell other guys who are learning to play guitar, be careful what you create when you're a young kid. It might stick with you. And to think it started when a bunch of Southern California surfers decided to make a fun song, a song that is still loved decades later. What a great wow. guy. Barry Hill is vacationing in Hawaii with his wife. He'll be on the Perry and Price show tomorrow morning. And just think, that song was almost named something else. It was almost named Switchblade. Really? They were looking for that Nat sound pop mm -hmm. at the beginning, and they finally, they, this, they tried the switchblade, didn't work, so they went with the the broken surfboard sound, which is really just wood. Their manager said, oh, wipe out. Oh, that was their manager. That was their manager, wow. and then look at today, we're still talking about it. 15 years old. 15 years old. And like you said yeah. earlier. No without YouTube, YouTube right? Yeah. All right. Hawaii has a lot of ghost stories and ghost sightings.